This is the Electroharmonics Lizard Queen, and this is an octave distortion pedal. It's a collaboration between JHS pedals and Electroharmonics. I kind of come up with this fictional pedal that would have come out in the 70s if Electroharmonics would have done something like this, and they actually made it happen. And uh, this is the larger box version. Uh, these are limited to a thousand pieces, and uh, Electroharmonics sells the uh, mini version the retail version that doesn't have a limitation on how many they can make. And uh, Josh from JHS had um, some kind of rare transistors that he put into these thousand uh, pieces. So it might sound a little bit different than the production version that's the smaller one. So um, yeah, the aesthetics of this pedal are um, just pretty much what a 70s electroharmonics pedal would be like if they were to release it back then. So um, it's a very a unique pedal pretty collectible, very low amount of them were made and I was able to snag one. And uh, it's got a funky sound, it's kind of fizzy. I'm playing through a Vox AC30 from my strap going right into the Lizard Queen. And um, you get a lot of high end and um, so if you're on a Vox amp, um, be aware that there's kind of more fizzier high end. Um, it's not necessarily bad but it's something to watch out for. So um, yeah, let's check it out a little bit more. The octave's pretty subtle and it kind of works with the shadow and sun here on the balance and this is the volume. And so yeah, simple controls. On off switch on here it runs off of a battery internally and no LED switch or no power jack. So let's check it out a little bit more. <laughs> 